Please welcome, please, the Mayor of the City of Ipswich, Paul Pascali. <laughs> Thanks, John. Thanks, and um, uh, first of all, who's from outside of Ipswich? All the people of Ipswich, give me a round of applause. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Look, um, folks, I just want people to know, especially to, um, to Ross and to Brett and everybody who's put this together, and especially my team at Economic Development, look, thanks. Because one of the things we have been promoted, for a city to go forward, you've got to take away that picket fence. And to all the people from Brisbane, you notice something? You don't need a visa to get here anymore. And we don't need a visa to go to Brisbane. And that's the most crucial thing that's what's happening. And, um, you know, I, I have a lot of TV interviews where people are trying to tell me what's happening with the, the global recession or the, or the crisis that's happening. And I say, mate, we haven't got one. Now, I know things are tough. Things are tough everywhere. They've always been tough. I actually remember buying a pub once in the, I think it was in the 80s or 90s, and the interest rates went up to 22%. Anybody remember that? Yes. Yeah, I know. So it's not bad when the interest rates are only 3% or 2%. So, folks, you know, what we've got here is a city and... Where Ipswich is, is a city that's it's growing at an enormous rate. We're growing at 4.2%. The nearest city to us is the Scenic Rim Council growing at 2.9%. Right? Gold Coast is growing at 2%. The city of Brisbane is growing at 0.7%. But that's not the scenario. It's not about the growth factor. It's about being able to do business, being able to understand what business is all about. And, you know, I, th I know when I we took over as mayor in, in 2004, Everybody came to me and said to me, this is how you do the mayor's job. And I'm thinking to myself, I really don't want to do it like that. It hasn't worked. What I want to do is turn Ipswich into a business. And we, had a, we didn't even have an Office of Economic Development. Jobs weren't important. Industry wasn't important. So I tried to get council to convince you know, the people that we needed an Office of Economic Development or a Department of Economic Development. And guess what happened? No, no one wants that. All people want is barking dogs and footpaths and curb and channeling. And I'm thinking, that's after all I'm going to do, I'm out of here. Because that's not what leadership's all about. That's not what, what your business is all about. And sometimes when you get involved in a business, and whether it's you know, selling food or doing some, some of the things that you relate to your customers, that the customers want you to provide, which is very, very important, because I cannot stop doing the things that relate to my customers. The barking dogs and the curb and channeling and all those things, I still have to do. I still have to fit, fix the potholes. But there's another part of your business where you have to have the vision and the leadership. And sometimes in small business, and that's why it's good tonight, because sometimes in small business, if you don't spend any time on that other level, your business won't go forward. In actual fact, it starts going backwards because you start getting tired. And so the most important lesson tonight is, and I'm so pleased that so many people are here, and I think when the, um, the Business Advisors Network put it together, they said, we normally get 50 people. How good is this? What this tells me that people in Ipswich and the surround see opportunities and they want to make a change. They want to know what they have to do to change their business or some of the little tricks of the trade that you have to do to take your business forward during a tough time. I, don't call, I actually call them times of opportunity. And there was a guy today that came to my office. He was a Korean guy and he lives in Sydney. And the first question I asked him, why did you find this? How did you find this block of land? He said, I've been watching Ipswich for the last five years. And the first thing I watched is to see if there's a city that had a vision, to see if they had a council that was coordinated working with state government and federal government, to see how the community reacted, to see how the paper reported things. And when I felt all those factors lined up and we've been studying your progress, we decided to spend $100 million here. And you wait to see what they're going to do. If you think Sanctuary Cove is good, they're going to build something better than Sanctuary Cove here. And I, I thought to myself, I had to look at it first, and I thought to myself, is this the right place? And I gave myself an uppercut. Because what he said, you know, and it's true. Sometimes you think, oh, we, we've never had anything like that. And I thought that when we, we won the Australian Tourism Awards. And now we've got the motorsport industry. So everything we touch, we can do it. But you know what? Because we're only 45 minutes to Brisbane, except when you go on the motorway. Mate, are you trying to get to the airport? <laughs> Mate, it takes you two hours to get to the airport. We're going to have an airport out here. But, folks, I just want you tonight, I want you just to, before this starts, I want you just to relax and sort of start op opening your mind. Because I know you've had a hard day's work, and it's the most important thing in the welcome is to get yourself in the right frame of mind. And it's good to see Bendigo Banks here, too, so we can get a loan at the end of it. So, you know, if you do that, then you'll start opening up your ideas. And that's what I do all the time. 
I have my own mentors. I have my own business things and I try to look at different ways of doing things. So it's just tremendous to be able to do that because I know that what we've got in this city, but more importantly, what we've got in South East Queensland is important. I just want to say the final thing, why Ipswich is so important to South East Queensland and why I ring Campbell up on a very regular basis. I don't say you've got tunnel vision. I say to, I say to him, what do we can do from Ipswich's point of view to take the pressure off Brisbane? Anybody knows, I keep quoting this, there was a, a video and a, a documentary they showed where a building in Singapore after about 15 years just collapsed. And when they did the research, it wasn't the swamps, it wasn't terrorism. What had actually happened, the engineers had miscalculated the dead weight and the live weight. And they actually put, when that happens, for some reason, it puts more pressure on the seven pylons that hold, held, held up the building. And what happened is one pylon had more pressure than the other, so it started to snap and crack. And then when that sort of deteriorated, the next one got more pressure. So that deteriorated over a number of years until finally four pylons. And when the four pylons were sort of deteriorated, what actually happened, the whole building came down in 15 seconds. Folks, those pylons are South East Queensland. Those pylons are each of the councils. If each of the councils don't take the right amount of pressure in South East Queensland, if all the jobs are created in Brisbane, you will not be, enjoy the lifestyle of Brisbane. And we've got some people that I was just talking to before that came from Ashfleet. That traffic from Ashfleet has got to be a, sm sm a smooth run, no matter where you want to go in South East Queensland. And that's what we've got to do, and that's why all the road works. And we're fortunate to have $5 billion worth of infrastructure going to happen here over the next five years. We're getting our fair share, but that's going to help everybody else. So, folks, enjoy your night. You know, from a council point of view, get to know the council people here. There's, I know there's people from the state gov government here, Marion Buckins here, and anybody here from the federal government, get to know because it's not just about business, it's about how we create partnerships because the government have got all these programs, but how do you utilise them? Right, how do you utilise a, a business advisor? You know, is, is it just something you, you enrol in, you go and get a lecture, or how do you relate that back to your business? Well, folks, I do it every day. And tomorrow I'm in Cairns, and, and next week I'm in, in, in Canberra where people pay to find out about Ipswich. Ipswich is going to happen because I was at a function last night and where people used to see us as a two-head city, they don't see that anymore. They're actually now seeing the energy and the opportunities that are in this city. And if you don't think position, position, we are in the dead centre of South East Queensland. We've got the largest Air Force base in the country, in the Southern Hemisphere. Right? They're closing down bases all over Australia and they're heading here. Defence Housing got to build 400 homes. Right? Sekasui House just signed a contract for 75% of the Ripley Valley, the largest house builder in the world. Last year, they built alone in Japan 60,000 houses. They see Ipswich as an opportunity. So, folks, welcome, enjoy yourself, and I hope your business goes very well. Thanks very much. Paul, thank you very much.